In this video, we'll convert 1.11 moles of CaNO3 2 to grams. In this 1.11, that's just a number I made up for the video. So we have 1.11 moles of calcium nitrate. When we go from moles to grams, we're going to multiply by the molar mass. And we find the molar mass by going to the periodic table and adding up the mass of each atom here in calcium nitrate. If you need help finding the molar mass for CaNO3 2, there's a link at the end of the video and in the description. So for calcium nitrate, we have a molar mass of 164.10 grams per mole. And grams per mole, that's the unit for molar mass. When we multiply moles on top and on the bottom, they cancel out. That leaves us with grams. That's what we're looking for here. So we know that we've done it correctly when the moles cancel out, we're left with grams. We multiply, we get 182.15 grams of calcium nitrate. So to recap, we were going from moles to grams. So when we go from moles to grams, we're going to multiply by the molar mass. If we were given grams of calcium nitrate and asked to find moles, we'd do the reverse. We'd start with grams, then we'd divide by the molar mass, and that would change from grams to moles. This is Dr. V converting 1.1 moles of calcium nitrate to grams. Thanks for watching.